in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise from the earth and water the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Gentium. O King of the nations and their desire, and the cornerstone, who makest both one, come and save man whom thou formest out of clay. The painting shows us the creation of Eve, the creation of humankind formed of clay, coming to be by the word of God the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. At the emanation of his word, all things are born, are brought into being. And he called it very good. He called it pleasing, beautiful, purposed to delight. It was very good, a reflection of the excellence of the uncreated living one. Just so he created humankind, formed of clay in his own image, filling us with breathing life created for communion with him, creating us for himself. He is our beginning and our end. He is the desire of the nations, the fullness of our longing, the promise of peace and fulfillment. He is the beginning and the end of man. And yet ancient Eve forsook that end, Adam with her. Humankind called itself the end, preferred the myth of its own power, believed its own right to dominion, chose instead the impossible choice to return again to dust. Though she forsook her end, the king of nations did not abandon her. He comes, the God-man, the supreme expression of creation, uniting himself to the new Eve's ascent, to suffer the tragedy of mortality and to be raised. The creator, is the crucified, and having been exalted, sits at the right hand of the Father, from whence he exercises his magnetic power on the whole of creation, that may thus feel deep within itself the summons, the injunction, to ascend with him. He does not claim, but reclaims for us that image of God in us. What is the glory coming into the world? It is the glory of Christ, our desire. Hello. 